So there are a lot of things that came with the new update in Disney Dreamland Valley, and a whole lot of them requires Moonstone purchase. In the new premium shop, we have this Nightmare Castle, a Big Hero 6 workspace bundle, a Turning Red Trio, which I think is really cute, and these old icy wings, which we've already had previously. I really like the Nightmare Castle and the Turning Red Trio, but I'm kind of low on Moonstones. We have the Premium Star Path activation, which costs 2,000 to 3,000 Moonstones. And there's a new Dapper Wally Dream Bundle, which costs 4,000 Moonstones. So me with my measly 9,000 Moonstones do not have enough to purchase all of these items. And I'm not gonna buy more. <laughs> But let's try out some of these items. I definitely want the Nightmare Castle and the Turning Red Trio. I'm really excited to see how this looks in my house. They're looking really cute. After buying that, I cannot afford the Wally Dream Bundle, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate the Premium Star Path with the extra 100 tokens just because I'm lazy. <laughs> so the tasks look similar to tasks from previous Star Paths. Nothing new here. Let's have a look at the rewards. What I'm most excited for is this fiery companion. On the second page, we have a few motifs. This wave hairstyle, I'm definitely gonna get that. A fireplace and an aquarium. On page three, we have a cloud hairstyle. Okay, <laughs> and some motifs. And I'm not sure what this is, Manta Ray Mobile. I'll definitely try that out in the future. Here's the blooming bob. We saw this in the trailer, the leaf hairstyle. And then there's also a few motifs, this green sweater and a panda statue. On the next page, we have the blue sweater from the trailer, another panda statue, this hairstyle. I don't know how I feel about that, but oh my God, these are so cute. I don't really use motifs, but I am definitely gonna get these. They're just too cute. <laughs> On the last page, we have some more motifs, this memory display from the trailer, the red panda onesie, and a new style for Buzz Lightyear. I'm gonna spend my 100 tokens and buy the fiery raven right away. I'm also gonna buy this scooter to see what it looks like. And a wise choice, moonstones. <laughs> Let's see how all of this looks in game and I'll tell you if it's worth it. First, the raven. I already know it's gonna be fabulous. Oh, it is. It looks a lot like a phoenix, actually, but it is very cute. I am happy with my purchase. I definitely think that was worth it to activate the premium star path. And let's go inside and test out some of the new furniture items. Okay, we're gonna have to move some of my furniture around. Okay, the bike, I don't really care for much, but these cherry blossom trees in the window and in the pot are so cute. Plus this lantern. I am really happy that I made that purchase. Although it costed a lot of moonstones, I, I, I'm not gonna say it was worth it, but I definitely enjoy my purchase. Let's go see the new dark castle. I'm gonna put it in the Forgotten Lands because where else would it go? Too bad I'm not able to move my flames yet, so I'm kind of limited on where I can put my house. So I see that there's a new section called house, <laughs> and that's where all of your house skins will go. So they're only showing me one house, so I guess you can't place the regular houses, and I'm already using the cottage house skin on my first regular house. I'm thinking you're only able to use the house skins for your additional residence, and your first house is the only house that can be the original house style. Okay, let's place my house and landscape the outside a little bit. I love how spooky it looks from the outside. I am really happy with my purchase. I'm pretty sure that all of the houses are gonna be connected from the inside, but let's test that. Oh, actually, no, they're not. This is a completely different house from the house that I already have. And it looks like you have three additional empty rooms. So it seems like every additional house that you place is just like a vacation home. It's not connected at all to your regular house that you have. So that leaves us a lot of room for decorating, but it looks like you can't expand the house anymore. You only have the four rooms on the main floor. But still, this is a lot of new space to play around with and I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna have vacation homes in every biome. 
Overall, I think those purchases are worth it. I know moonstones are expensive in real life and I am not planning on paying real money for them, but I am really happy with the items that I was able to purchase with the moonstones that I already had. So I'm gonna be working hard on completing the star path to unlock more moonstones and also looking for the blue chests every day because I wanna unlock the Wally quest. And from the trailer, I know there's another house skin coming that I really want too. If you have the Moonstones, I would definitely recommend buying this because I love the house skin. I love the Raven and I love the new turning red cherry blossom decor that I bought for my house. I am really happy with this. I'm going to leave this video right here, but I hope that it helped you decide whether or not you want to spend your Moonstones on any of the new items in the premium shop or buying the premium star path. In my opinion, the premium shop is not always worth it but these two items that I bought today in particular, I really love. So I would recommend that you also buy them, <laughs> but only if you have the moonstones to spare. Like I said, I am not in the habit of paying real money to buy moonstones. If you are, buy everything. But if you're not, we can figure something out. We'll work hard finding those blue chests. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now, guys.